Do you see um, John Joan, uh, Joe Rogan is not commentating for 249. He said he, doesn't, he won't do it. I did see that. Who do you think will do it? I reckon they'll get Cruz and Cormier, won't they? Cruz, Cormier and Anik. You know, if they just sent Cruz out and he's like, why is it? Why is it just me? And it's like <laughs> we're not saying you're expendable, but like, eh, <laughs> you know. I reckon that'll be the team. It depends where they hold it, though, really. Because, like, like if they hold it in Vegas, Rogan could get in his car and drive there. Be there in four hours. Yeah, but is it more a case that he doesn't want to be around people that he doesn't want to do it, or is it because of the travelling? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to be around people generally, but here, here we are. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I think Joey Diaz would be a good shout. Joey Diaz and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Joey Diaz would be fantastic. Can't, can't we bring in Stephen Quadros and Bash Rutten? Oh, man, we watched Here Comes the Boom last night. You know, Here Comes the Boom with Kevin James. What did we watch? The Hustle. Yeah. With Rebel Wilson. That was good. Have you watched that? Yeah. I, don't know. I, I struggle with Rebel Wilson at times because she just, she, you know, when. It's like, who are you going to play? Just myself. Yeah, all right. This is the, uh, yeah, I suppose you've got to like her humour. This, it, this was funny. It, Anne Hathaway and, and Rebel Wilson. It was, it was good. I have seen it. I, I am running out of stuff to watch because we have literally gone through the back catalogue of everything. And yeah. you know when you get to the point when, yeah, you run out of stuff. So I just, uh, Netflix recommending the same shit over and over again. And who are these people that are watching Pandemic? Like, why is that you, most popular rated at the moment on Netflix? Why is that? Why is that the first thing that pops up in my, my feed? Mate, I saw a film and it said the top ten virus films, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't watch that for pointers because they get to the end and every fucker's dead. Look at the one. What was the one with Matt Damon? Can you remember that one? What's that called? Is that virus or something? And basically, it starts out where someone's having an affair and end up poisoning the entire fucking population. But it just spreads, obviously. There's the one with the monkey and um, Captain Hook from Hook. Dustin Hoffman. Oh. What's that one called? Outbreak. Outbreak. I'll take yeah. it. No, I don't need any of that in my life right now. No, well, I did fuck- Tuesday down the other day and realised that was a bad choice. It's because we were talking about it on the podcast and I was then I was thinking about Saul, the guy in the, in the movie that's the, like, the crazy cannibal punk rocker. And... Oh. And what I realised is the first half of the movie is like heavy and depressing in the current climate. And, and, I, and it just got to the stage where I'm like, I'm, I'm over this. I don't need to watch this anymore. I turned it off. <laughs> but I, I do know the movie gets better, like more entertaining because it gets kind of wild when they're, you know, because have you seen it, Doomsday? No. Or if I, I have, it was a long time ago. I, I, I'll watch it, but... Well, yeah, but know, skip, know. skip through at least the first 30 minutes, though. You, you want the bit after they're being attacked in the street. Okay. So when they're, that's, now, that's when they're, the when they're out, of, out of the virus and, and pandemic story and into the post-apocalypse story where everyone's gone a bit feral and cra- crazy. Yeah. 